Hey guys, so a few days ago I asked uh, you guys to ask me questions uh, and I got questions. So today I'm going to be answering them. First question, how did you get into Pokemon? So basically how I got into Pokemon was my brother's friend had a DS and he had Pokemon Diamond or Pearl, I don't remember which one it was, and he showed it to my brother and my brother got Pokemon Diamond and then um, he really liked it. So he was like, hey, Conrad should get one of these. So then I got a DS, uh, and I got Pokemon Pearl, and my first starter was Turtwig. Uh, but yeah, basically how I got to Pokemon was my brother's friend. How old are you? I actually didn't expect to get this. Uh, I am 12 years old, I'm in 7th grade, and I'm almost 13, like really close. So October 21st is my birthday. What is your quest? To seek the holy play button. Why is the new Cocoa Krispies box art so creepy? If you mean Cocoa Krispies by like the kind of same thing as Rice Krispies, because I did notice that Rice Krispies changed their box art, I, I do have two of those to compare. I'll go grab them right now. Bye! Oh, hi, I'm back! F uh, bearing food! This is the old Rice Krispies art. I, I like that one a lot. And this is the new one. <laughs> I, I think it's kind of. <coughs> I think it's kind of creepy. Uh, I wish they would have just. Stuck to the old one. What's your first Sona? I mean, up. Oh, hi! This is my first Sona. What was the first set of Pokemon you ever opened? The first set I ever opened. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it was probably some like the middle of Diamond and Pearl sets. That That's really when I got into Pokemon. So probably like. I wanna say like. Stormfront, or around that time. No, not that early. Probably like a late Diamond or Pearl set. So like after Stormfront, I guess, actually, I don't know how early Stormfront was. That's like one of the only Diamond or Pearl sets I know. I also know like Treasures Awakened or something. Treasures, man, My Mysterious Treasures. I know Mysterious Treasures. I think that might have been it. I, I think the, the first set I ever opened was Mysterious Treasures, actually. Okay, um... Thanks for asking. What's the future of your channel and where do you see yourself in 10 years? Still on YouTube? This is a hard one. <laughs> really, really makes you think. I, <coughs> I'm i always gonna be doing Pokemon videos. Um, I'm always gonna like Pokemon. Pokemon has basically shaped my life up until this point. And if, if I can make a steady income, because in 10 years I'm gonna be 22 years old. Uh, and I'm gonna be in college. Uh, and I'm gonna need to make a steady income, and I don't know if YouTube will ever do that for me. So I I don't know if I'm gonna be still doing YouTube in 10 years. That's all. What's your favorite Pokemon, and what's your favorite thing about YouTube? My favorite Pokemon is currently Torkoal. It'll probably change. It changes a lot. At the time of making this video, my mascot for the channel is Torkoal. My favorite thing about YouTube. Uh, my favorite thing about YouTube has to be. I think of YouTube as a game. And every time I make a video, um, I try to top the last video in quality. So, like, say I make a card opening video, my next card opening video hopefully has better quality or better uh, energy or something like that. Um, and, like, top tens, I, I like to have a different style. Like, I always have a different style every video because I'm, I'm still trying to find, like, how I want to make videos and... and uh, what kind of videos are my favorite? I don't know what, what to. I don't know what those are. I, I do like doing the challenges with my friends, but I don't. I haven't done that in a while. I love to see what you guys think. I love. I love to see the the feedback on videos that I make, um, and just the process of making a video, like like fil like making up a setup, um, filming the video, and then editing the video and posting the video. I I I enjoy editing my friends. I don't, I don't enjoy editing myself as I do editing, edit, editing, as I do editing, edit, <laughs> as I do editing my friends, because my friends, like, they're more entertaining to me for some reason, like, Asa is a blast to edit, because he just, all the subtle little movements he makes, he, he like, sometimes just be like, and I, I don't notice that in real life, but if I film everything, like, all, like, our games that we play and stuff. If I film all that, then I can look back at it and I can I can make I 
can make it look funnier, I can make it look better, and I just like to enhance the things I do. So like, and when I open cards on my own, like off camera, it's, it's really boring for me. So like, I don't get to say we, um, that's, that's the fun, that's the fun part, is I always talk to a camera like I'm talking to somebody. Just making this video is so much fun for me. Um, because I like to see like what you guys want to know and 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 what I can what I can supply you with. That was a long answer. Jeez. It made me think. Okay, last question of the day. Um are you going to dye your hair again? Oh. Oh, that's hard. Um I don't know. You know what? You know what? I want to leave this up to you guys. Uh, I'm not completely up to you guys. If I, if I really don't want to, uh, then I probably won't, but just to get a reference, uh, just, just tell me, like, um, do you want me to dye my hair? Just in the comments, like, say yes or no, um, as well as a question for the next Q&A. So there you have it. That's all the questions I had for today. Uh, it's all, it's basically all the questions I got. I'll see you next week. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, share the channel with a friend, leave a question for the next Q&A, and I will see you all next week uh, with another video. Bye!